Karens are infamous for being annoying and thinking yep. they're above the law. But what happens yep. when Karens pick the wrong battle and try to fight police officers? You verbally abused You verbally abused me as soon as I got here. Here are four examples <laughs> of this happening, starting with the case of Brandy McGowan. On the 30th of March, 2022, police were called on Brandy after she was seen threatening people with a brick in a Florida Walmart. <laughs> Why she look like that? Zoom in on her face. At some point, she decided the brick wasn't good enough and stole a pocket knife to wield instead. When an officer arrived, he found Brandy holding the knife. The cop was armed with his service weapon, the knife but Brandy down. refused oh, Brandy, to drop please, hers. Put the knife down. Drop the knife now! Put it down, Brandy. Drop it. Drop the knife. Put it down! Drop the knife. Drop it now! Brandy seemed blissfully unaware that the officer is pointing a gun directly at her and has a taser in broad view on his utility belt. In these circumstances, he is well within his rights to use it to subdue and disarm her if he feels as though she's a danger to him and Ooh, the civilians we? around him. Clearly, she doesn't understand that as she stands her ground and continues to threaten like, people with her weapon. Not Put it down. Drop it. Drop the knife. Put it down. Crazy. Put the knife down. Put the knife down. Okay. So she could have like a, a mental thing going on right now. Like mental breakdown or something. Because she gotta be out of it. Oh, the gun. This point, backup arrives on the scene and takes the attention off the first cop for a moment, giving him the opportunity to holster his weapon and switch to the taser. The taser. In this situation, it's obviously much more preferable for the cop to use right, non-lethal force, him. but it's dangerous to lower his this weapon plan. while in a one-on-one -on -one standoff. The arrival of the other officers gives the perfect relief for him to switch to and deploy the taser. Drop the knife now. Oh, you better get got. E They got her. They got her good, got too. <laughs> the taser oh, does got a good. perfect job of disarming Brandy <laughs> and allowing the cop. It looked like a free fall, like somebody gonna catch you. Like, trust me, I'm gonna catch you. They say do something, do it. Okay. The cops to put her in cuffs and detain her. After Quit the Walmart interaction, bad. she was taken to a local hospital for evaluation, where it was discovered she was somewhat predictably high on meth and had apparently ingested oh. over four grams of the stuff before entering the store to cause her chaos. Okay. Back at the police station, it was also discovered that Brandy had a lengthy criminal record, with charges including burglary, kidnapping, and battery. For this incident, uh, she was hit with another charge of aggravated assault with a deadly I don't know how weapon. she looked. Like, she looked stained. Like, like I've been here before. Weapon carrying a sentence of up to five years in prison and a $5,000 fine. If Go. this doesn't convince you not to take drugs, nothing will. But don't this next drugs. case is a perfect example of how alcohol can have very similar effects, at least on Karens. This officer was called to a bar on the night of August 11th, where there was an intoxicated woman allegedly attacking multiple people and causing a serious disturbance. The woman was quickly identified as Christina Cabot, the wife of the previous mayor of the town, and wow. someone who has clearly overstayed her welcome at the bar. Okay, it's the mayor wife. No, she's sorry. She's literally been here. She walked to me. Why are you in here? I said, Where's Clover? I don't like you. You're black. I said, Uh uh. What do you mean? She's been the bar for a while. I was like, Just being dumb. Yeah. No, no. I don't know who little she is. She's Tim Kennedy. We all do. You all do. Investigation. The more. Why is the mayor's wife? At a nightclub. She got to be going through something. You supposed to be showing an example of something. Something for the community. Two, why you being racist? And why you got to be a Karen? And why you have subscribed yet? Do it. Thank you. Other patrons of this bar detail exactly what Christina has been doing to cause the disturbance, and it's clear she hasn't made herself popular. This is also the second time today that police have been called to remove her from a bar. She's been what? intoxicated nearly the entire What's day. Your husband so the do? police decide it's time to have a chat with her and get her back to the station. Who's 
this guy? Quick on your way. He's on his head. You know what happened to me. If I be honest. What happened to you? If I be quite honest with you. You know what happened to me. I'm Tim's wife. Yeah, but no. Okay. I'm Tim's wife. I don't know what happened. But where have you been? Like just now or like my whole life? No, I was talking to other people. No, you just got into a process here? Like no, I, I, we had so dinner she's a, a turbo like six years ago. And you're going to pretend like you don't know what happened to me? I know why I don't know what happened to you. She don't look like she'll be in a nightclub though, so something is going on. Tim, is you cheating? This town is going to shut Tim and I down everywhere we go. I don't know. I because of what happened to me. You because don't like the it, police department said what that I to did you, something though? wrong. Because you asked for an opinion, so you must enjoy something. White it. fucking motherfuckers figured that I did something wrong. Okay. Even though all the police department dropped all the charges, even though all the police department continued to investigate me when they had no right. Uh, so what does that have to do with tonight's Nothing. Action? I don't right. even know how much I was so lost. Uh, you should go ask them. So they've already told me. They what said they that you were pushing people and touching people and trying to push people off their stools and acting disorderly. Christina lets the cops know that she believes the city of La Crosse, where they are, is out to get her and her husband. Evidently, the police have investigated her in the past and dropped the case, but obviously there's something bigger at play here, or at least that's what she's trying to insinuate. In reality, Christina is oh, no. extremely intoxicated <laughs> and looking for any reason to blame someone else for the ruckus she's been causing and a way to get out of this situation. This is video here. So like, go talk to him. No, no, we're not. Hey, tell him what you think about me. I didn't touch you once. But I pushed you off your bar stool, right? I, you never know. I never said that. I don't know Karen, don't, don't be lying. Sir, I, I think we lost you. The police are told that Christina was politely asked to leave the bar multiple times, to which she violently refused, becoming both verbally and physically abusive, it. starting fights with anyone it. she could get her hands on. At one point, mm. she even sat down in the middle of the bar and began kicking and screaming like a child. It was at this point the police were called to the scene. She needs to go. I don't care where she goes. I don't care <laughs> she is stressing. Goes. She's stressing everybody out. Everybody like... She needs to go. She is just doing the most. Get her out of here, cause she is ruining my night. I don't even think I'm gonna get get some butt. Wow, yeah, everybody want her so gone, no. but. No, we're not gonna go inside, ma'am. She about to go back inside. You go in there. Oh, you're just gonna accept that. You need to go home. Put in the handcuffs. You gotta go. <laughs> Do you think I deserve to be arrested right now? Yes. I don't know. Yes, you do. You've been arrested for disorderly conduct. Oh, mm. really? You've been detained. Oh, wait, girl. I don't know. Due to everything that's gone on so far, the cops decide to put her in cuffs and take her to jail for the night. Frankly, it's the impressive that even wife. while restrained, she still jail. managed to make enemies. On the way back to the car, she refused to cooperate and made her legs weak, forcing the cops to drag her. And even it's that wasn't the most annoying thing she did on this walk. I need you to put that wallet yep. in my yep. purse. I'm going to carry it all the way over there. Okay? Just like no, this. No, I want you to put it in my purse. Well, let's, let's go and then we'll, we'll make it happen, okay? This is, this is some embarrassing This is embarrassing. I'm not going in. I know she ain't. I know she ain't. She is. Oh, she gonna act like she passed out. That kid for Wild Thornberry. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I gotta find him real quick. <laughs> no, Carrie, you wanna act up? Make yourself just go to jail when you you could have just left the place. You didn't think about that. But next time, think about subscribe. I love y'all so much. I catch you in the next video.